TGR. Hey everybody, welcome to a gaming resume for Dead Cells. I'm Sean, this is Onyx, this is Rudy. Yo. Uh, I'm going to tell these guys and you my impressions of Dead Cells, having played it. I've gotten to the final boss, I have not beaten it yet, so I'm not within the being able to review it stage yet. Um, these guys have not seen this game, they have not played this game, so I'm going to share my impressions with all of you at the same time. Onyx currently has the controller. Feel free to boot this baby up. Let's do it. And uh, restart. Go, continue. No, continue. And uh, we'll we'll just get into this. So Dead Cells is a rogue light. Uh, not a rogue like. Not a rogue like. And as far as I understand it, a rogue like is when you restart, you have zero. You have nothing. It is start over from yeah, no need scratch. For uh, a roguelite, you get to carry some stuff over. So in this game, you do get to carry things over. Um, basically... Is that everything here? That is everything that I have been bringing over from game to game. That is so cool. Yeah, those are all the different things you can bring over. So how do um, I get this stuff? Sorry, you, you, like, you already have it. It's just, it's just it's there. Just, so, so I don't have any weapons right now? You, no, okay. you keep... Walk on out okay, the door okay. and uh, just walk out, bro. And there you get to pick some weapons. So, so basically, this is kind of like a Metroidvania game. Um, you, it's not Metroidvania in the sense that you're in one big world constantly traversing back and forth, uh -huh. trying to unlock new areas. It's basically cordoned off into levels, linear that you progress through. Um, and along the way, you're collecting different kinds of loot and getting better loot and collecting dead cells. You are collecting cells from enemies that you slaughter. And when you get to the end of a level, you get to turn in those cells for some of those unlockables that you saw hanging from the ceiling at the beginning. Uh, they can range from additional weapons and defensive items to um, you can maintain more gold in between uh, runs. You have more health potions that you can use, etc., etc. So these are some of the basic enemies in the game. Um, okay. Uh, you can do uh, with the A button. You can do a dodge roll, which is great. Um, ah, so much. Ah! You can duck. If you duck, you will dodge his arrows every single time. Or you can just roll. That's what I was trying to do, but the timing was kind of. <laughs> oh. So you've. I've already unlocked all. That's okay. So another thing. There's runes, which unlock special abilities. Uh, you just you just did the run up the wall. Yes. I, that's a that's something that you don't start with. Oh, and you hold on to it. Is that something you, you yeah. unlock too? Dude, that's some, you know well, me. that's all part of the same rune. I believe it's the spider rune. Um, once you unlock a rune, you have it forever, so you never lose it. I've already unlocked all of the extra abilities in this game. Actually, you can see the floor has like a red uh, red thing on it. Yeah. If you um, jump up in the air and like try to do like a down smash. Over that thing, it breaks It breaks through the floor. Oh, on this thing? Yeah. So what do I do? So jump up in the air, and then push down and jump. Not there. Go over there. Like that. Oh. You can't break through all the floors that way. But that will open up special hidden paths and gotcha. things all right. of that nature. Um, part of the Metroidvania style. So, so basically, you just go on these runs, killing enemies, um, gathering dead cells, gathering gold which you can use. There's shops that you'll run into where you can buy um, different items or you can upgrade Damn, can the items that you are oh my currently God. using. And we Shit, are seeing that Onyx is not very good at video games. <laughs> uh, you have these teleporters here that let you kind of teleport around the map. So once you pass one, it automatically- Oh unlocks. my God, <laughs> these stupid- ah! If you press the L uh, bumper, you will heal. There you go. How many times do I have that? Uh, you have it a couple more times. I'll save it. Um, and it refills uh, in between levels. So. Oh my god. Uh, there's about, mm, I would say like a dozen different stages in this game, but since it's linear, at some point you get to the point <coughs> where you have to pick a route. Uh, so there's like three or four different uh, alternatives you could take if you do the different matchups. So how far do you would you say that you are in this game? I've gotten to the final boss. Fucking zombies. Okay. But I have not beaten it. Okay. Um, so at this point, I'm just trying to improve my skills. I'm trying to 
improve uh, a lot of the different uh, items I have access to to make my runs easier and easier. And hopefully when I get to the final boss, I'm loaded up with some really awesome I gear would. and I can just I... walk in and destroy. Okay. Um, one of the things that I have not yet mentioned and we haven't run into yet, um, and you may not be able to see it because the PlayStation 4, we're playing this on the Nintendo Switch, by the way. The PlayStation 4 is kind of blocking it right now. But in the lower left corner, there's three number ones. There's a red one, a purple one, and a green one. As you progress through these different areas, you will find uh, scrolls. And when you pick up a scroll, uh, it lets you increase one of those three items. Usually you get to pick... Uh, between all three of them. Sometimes you only get to pick between two of them. Sometimes it just gives you one. And when you pick a scroll, it increases your health pool, but it also increases your damage with that color. So if you notice, Onyx, you have a red sword, which yes. applies to the red one. You have a green shield, which applies to the green one. And you have a purple green healing trap thing. I forget what those things are called. Uh, Tonics. Tonic, yeah. Um, which is, which is uh, driven by both the purple and the green. So you've already found one of the exits, so now you're moving on to the next next area. You're going to the toxic sewers. It's pretty fun. Um, I'm digging this. You'll see how it says current time, four minutes. There are certain levels where you want to run fast Whoa, might... because you will come across a section you can only access in speed runs. And it will have oh, cool. cells and um, uh, well, blueprints well, for weapons well, and stuff behind it. So this guy you're going to talk to and turn in. You have four dead cells. So these Are are the different things that you can unlock. Now, because I'm decently far into unlocking things, the amount of cells cells required is pretty high. Some of these are still low. Um, You can see ranged weapons, shields. Uh, Mutations are something that you get three of them per run. You get to unlock them. They're like passive abilities. I only have four, so I can't do any of these, really. You will not unlock any of these, no. Okay. But you have to invest your cells now. He oh, will not open the so door. Oh, oh, I can put it towards it. You put it towards it, uh, yeah. Which one do you want? It doesn't matter. Yours. It's four. It's four cells. There's levels that you end and you have 50 plus cells, so it's not, ah. it's not a big deal. Uh, this Rubbish. guy. Oh. So cool. there's some comedy in here, too. He was just making a reference <coughs> to every time you die, you respawn. Uh-huh. So they're just collecting all of your old swords and armor <laughs> that you died with. And he's like, hey, I recognize some of this stuff. That's funny. Do um, you care if I use the gold? No, go for it. Do whatever you want. It's reforged modifiers. Basically, man. that change. so there's modifiers over there, so it causes bleeding. If you pay for it again, it's going to change bleeding. It's going to change, well, not the bleeding, sorry. It changes the stuff on the bottom. So now every time you use it, it launches a grenade. Cool. Oh, that's cool. I like it. It takes a second to recharge, but... <laughs> <laughs> it breaks the fourth wall a couple times. I have a mutation of it. Uh, this is where you get to pick a passive, and they're all guided by this red-purple-green mechanic, which is really cool. So if you want to specialize in a certain uh, thing, you can. Green is more for defense, red is more for straight offense, and purple is more for you're just going to stand back and dodge and let traps and stuff do the damage for That's you. Funny. This is where you fill up your health potion. Oh, hell yeah. So, yeah, that's that's kind of like Dead Cells 101 is basically what I've just That was really explained. cool. I kind of um, really like this. The, so some of my actual impressions then, uh, the visual style of this game is fantastic. It is. It, it is. is a beautiful game. It's funny. I've seen so many videos of the game. Ooh, that looks yeah. pretty. Yeah. Um, and seeing it in action is so much better. Totally different. Totally different. Yeah. totally different. So this is, I believe this is running at 60 frames per second. Yeah, it is. Um, oh, they're stronger here, huh? You're, you're, oh, yeah. As you progress through, they get stronger and stronger and stronger. Oops, I did not mean to press that. Oh. If you go fast through these levels and don't collect everything, you can unlock some of those time-blocked areas but you're not collecting all of the scrolls and other things you may have gotten access to. So you probably missed three or four scrolls in the, su- in the first area, which would have increased your damage by like 60% right off the bat. Um, I'll try to just rush through it. Oh yeah, go for it. Technically speaking, you don't have to kill anything. You can just keep rolling. And I think you can run into enemies, like they don't actually hurt. Um, 
Oof. So, uh, let's see. So we did, we briefly talked about the visuals. There's a lot of uh, different character designs in this. I know right now you're seeing some recyclables from the previous level with uh, the green guys that are walking around and those arrow dudes. Uh, but you're seeing the scorpions. You're seeing these guys that, like, chase after you and spit out mini versions of themselves. Those guys that oh, explode. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Whoa. You may want to heal because once you die, that's it. You right, start right, right. completely over. There's one of the scrolls. So if you click R, you're going to get to pick between red and green. So I would say if you want more health, you'd go with green. And that also impacted your mutation that you selected. So it improved the mutation. Look at that kebab that you can eat. There's hidden areas in this game. Uh, you, We've probably passed a couple, but that's okay. Um, so it, it rewards people that go fast, but it also rewards people that go slow and take I their can't time. Get up there. Yeah. Uh, you just are not good at video games. <laughs> <laughs> you have a double jump, by the way. Use, I'm trying. You don't. I would not worry about running up the walls. That's not really how you go up in this game. That wall jump, that wall run, is really only for certain areas. So you can double jump up there if that's what you were trying to do. I, I mean, I'm just trying to get to the level as fast as I can. I'm trying to get to those closed doors, but I don't think I, I think I just... No, no, you're, you're definitely not going into a closed door. <laughs> <laughs> the one for this level was earlier on. The, uh, the bosses in this game are a lot of fun. Oh, so I gotta... They're you know pretty what? tough. Screw this shit. Um, like I said, I've gotten to Ooh. the final boss only once. Sub-zero. And it totally destroyed me. I got wrecked. Really? Yeah. The sound design in this game, uh, musically, uh, I wouldn't say the music's bad. The music's great. It's good. There's nothing that has stood out to me a whole lot that's, like, really memorable. Yeah. There is one track with an acoustic guitar that's like, boom, 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 Everything boom. must go. Um, which I always, it always comes to the forefront when I hear it, but otherwise, it's, it's a good soundtrack. Um, the guy, oh, no, I'm thinking of a different game, sorry. Uh, let's see. That's cool. When you die, you restart with a certain amount of gold. Here you can spend gold to get access to a scroll to make your run easier. And this, this, is, like this is where you get to pick between three different ones, three, three, three different colors. And as you continually pick one, pick a color, it will increase the number in the bottom left. I see and then your rate of return gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Oh, really? Yeah, so if you keep picking greens, it goes from 60% to some other percent until it's down to like 2 or 3% increases to your HP, which makes you oh. trade off. Do you, want, do you want to continue increasing the damage of your green items, or do you want to get the HP benefit from some Ooh. of the other colors? That's a lot of damage. There's bleeding, there's poison, there's freezing, there's burning, um, there's vine climbing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I still have not scratched the itch of all that this oh, game has to offer. Oh, that hurt, boy. There's some doors I still can't open. I think you have to beat the game first to unlock special runes that let you access special boss challenges. So I haven't gotten to that part yet. You scumbag. The story is, uh, it's not hard to piece together, but I haven't really been paying too much attention to it. Basically, you're in this kingdom, this malaise, Ooh. this, uh... You're dead. This virus took over and started killing people. Yeah. I don't know why you are so special that you continue to come back to life every time. But um, what I do appreciate, and you guys aren't seeing it here, but the first time you start this game... Oh, my God. There are characters in the world, and as you are resetting and starting over, things happen to those characters over time. So uh -huh. between runs, there's some story. Um, at some point, that stops. Um, there's little things, secret areas you can find where you can read books or read different things that give you some more God background. Damn, why does that hurt so much? It's like the basicest of enemies. What is this, Dark Souls? Dead Souls, you know what I'm saying? Oh shit, that's not good. <gasps> you killed it before it killed you. There you go. So yeah, this is, uh, this is Dead, Dead Cells. Cells huh? I like it, I really do. Rudy, you want to take over? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably oh, gonna... go up there. This is where you're gonna die. <laughs> you don't, don't, don't. That's not how you just. Oh, right, right. Yeah, right. there you go. Okay, there's a elite enemy in here. Good luck. 
An elite zombie. Oh, you can kill this guy. Come on. And he's summoning uh, minions. You're actually doing a really good job. This is like Cell and Cell Juniors. You're out of ammo because all your arrows are stuck in him. How do I get him back? Uh, they come back over time as you continually hit him with your sword. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, you're doing a really good job, I must say. Boom! Whoa. Look at all those cells. Ooh. And you got an amulet. So it oh, reduces just... damage received by 10 and poisoned enemies something. Yeah, I don't need that. You don't need that? Oh, yeah, this thing. The person oh, no, that's power. what you had before. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I dig it. So uh, my final recommendation then hey. for Dead Cells would be get it. Highly, highly recommended. Um, I'm... It's it's in my top five, I think, right now. Game for the year? Of, yeah. For the year? Yeah. Uh, it's really well made. I, it Overall, some of the story stuff may not be what I didn't stay. tend to look for. Oh, yes, it did. Yes, it did. Uh, that's why the bar is blue. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Um, you know, you guys know I like more story-driven games. And while there is story in this, it's, it's more lore similar to, like, a Bloodborne or a Dark Souls. Makes sense. Um, but it's still a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, I would highly recommend it. Great game to play on the Switch. I think we just saw on Reset Era that it has outsold the PS. The Switch version has outsold the PS4 version four to yeah. one, that is nuts. which yeah, is intense considering how many PS4s are out there versus Switches. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely a fun you game. You can use that to go further down. No. No, no, no. No. Okay. No. Now it would no. go, right. go back up. Want to give it a shot, Rudy? No, I'm good. You sure? Uh, yeah, because I'm literally gonna I'm gonna get this game tonight. You, are you really? Yeah. You're sold. I'm sold just by <laughs> looking at it. I'm it, just like Metroidvania, roguelite, which I enjoy, and it's it, it's, it's it's an easy game to sink many many hours into straight. Or if you only have 15 minutes, drop in, play, drop out, and when you come back, uh, you're good to go. I want to see Onyx die, though. <laughs> oh, God. And, wow. Uh, he's he's definitely, definitely getting there. Your ammo is stuck in that enemy. Okay, Onyx is decent at video games. I'll give him that. <laughs> I like, see, notice how, like, the shadows change as you're, like, yeah. running along. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Reminds me of Dota. Dota? I don't know yeah, what else Yeah, Dota, too. Really? Well, yeah, the characters that you move across the map, like their field of vision, kind of like uh, it's like a light Dota source, 2. and then there's no. I'm surprised you even played Dota too. I played a couple times. It's fun. There's a lot of competition in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I don't really have much else to say. I know I just kind of just I talked a lot. I hope you like talking. Uh, <laughs> no salt in that. Oh God comment whatsoever Whoa. so let us know what you guys think of dead cells hope you like this gaming resume yeah it's not we're not ign we'll, uh, so we're good we'll catch you next time yeah, see you next, <laughs> later see you on the flip side guys oh jesus oh god <laughs> you're gonna die I, I think i will nope nope because i'm the best at this game baby Ugh. let's go like what you saw check out some of our other videos and be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest content thanks for your support and thanks for watching